Why are they going in? We have a tower here. What the fuck? What? What am I witnessing right now? What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Paragon gameplay. Today, we're going to talk about Iggy and Scorch. Because this guy, he was pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat this one. He was pretty bad. But now, you know, he's a... Uh, He's got some buffs, there's been some changes in Paragon, and people are like, Ace, what do you think of Iggy? Is he good? I'm like, I don't know yet. So today we're going to figure out what I think of Iggy and Scorch, and yes, it depends on how well my team play, and uh, how well, you know, the uh, enemy team do as well, and that kind of influences it. But the idea is to see, like, what kind of impact do we have as Iggy, and because our main uh, mid lane um, on my main account, a diamond and I, I kind of have a good sense of what a mid laner needs i don't think iggy has it as a mid laner i wanted to play off lane but we have accounts in the off lane so it's going to be difficult but i think iggy definitely would excel in the off lane if there was a position that he would excel at if that makes sense i don't think it's mid lane but you never know we can see how it goes just try and focus on getting lasted so yeah the build is pretty much ash of the witch Meltdowns, we got Blink Shot just in case we need it. We got a Ward of course, and then um, Tainted Magic. And I think Tainted Magic is a good card, but I haven't used it recently. I'm not sure if the Blight change affects it. I wouldn't think so because it's poison, but let's see how it goes. I'm gonna take my turret here. I'll just wave a bit back. Shimmy can't really do much apart from using ability to get rid of the turrets, so I like that. Probably take our right mouse button next, just because, you know, it's great for getting away. Okay, they got a pick, that's nice, I like it, I like it. Alright, let's go grab a buff here. And he died. Oh, she couldn't even land the hit! Four counters. I think she missed her last hit or something. So that person was like one health. Alright, grab this buff. I wonder if they did the bl they got the black one. I don't think so. Alright, so we're gonna back and grab our wards. And then oh the Grox is on right. Just cause as a mid lane I'd like to be safe, so I'll grab my wards. These guys look like they're dead. Make a rotation, see if I can help out. Oh! Oh, he almost juked. He almost juked. What is it with everyone spamming good job? Like, toxic people. Cover this lane while you... Like, recall the end, please. So I can go back to mid. Okay, cheers. I'm gonna max my Q in here. Our camera is fighting. I'm gonna head over. Can we go on Shinbi? We can even even get there in time. Wait, you're just gonna leave me like that, camera? Okay, seems legit. Okay. You're a great Chimera player, dude. You're a really good Chimera player. Like, what the fuck? You start fighting, I go in to help you, and then you leave. Like, okay, thank you, Chimera. I'm not even being toxic. I'm just being honest. Like, what kind of what kind of game sense and awareness is that? I'm going in because you went in, and then you just leave. As I'm fighting them. And I'm pretty sure you had most of your health as well. Um, you ain't killing me today. Okay, what are we on? We're on eight. The Grox is nine. The Shinbi, nothing really. 
All right, let's. Uh, river buffs are coming up. I see the Bellica coming for me. Okay, nice. We made it out. We made it out. Pretty sure I was left with that knockout, but okay. Go in on her. Go in on her. Go in on her. What the fuck? Are you kidding me right now? What in the fuck are you doing? Why the fuck are you not jumping on her? What the fuck is this shit? Holy shit, dude. You have no idea how to play this game. I must be being pranked right now. Like, what the fuck? There's no way this guy did not jump on her before. I didn't have my ult yet. I'm backing up. This whole thing could have been avoided if the Chimera simply jumped onto that Belica. I don't know, man. Is this going to be a game where I get to see how good Iggy is? Or is this going to be a game where I get to see how bad people are in solo queue? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be the latter. Anyways, I'm going to back. Grab my Sage's Ward. And max that out. And I'm going to throw in a Mana Pot by the time. But I'm probably going to go for my Meltdown next. I think I could Meltdown, Tainted Magic, and then Ash of the Witch. Or do I take Ash of the Witch earlier? I haven't decided. How much damage am I charged to you? 525, not much. Over 10 seconds. So it's like 52 a second. Hmm. I have to decide. I, I don't know. Like, I haven't really played Iggy that much to be like, yeah, I think Ash of the Witch early is good or not. They have a Bellica. I gotta be a bit careful in this game. This is gonna be mine. No, I'm fucking dead here. Oh, they didn't rotate on me. The fuck? Move. Alright, I was... Oh, I saw like four people rotate. I could have died. Jump on her, man. What the... Jesus, this guy, man. She's so scared to do anything. What happened to them Chimera players that just dive on anything? This guy just doesn't want to attack anything at all, ever. Like your stealth, dude. Let's go. Alright, he got, he got jumped on this Bellica. Thank you. They get a kill there. Finally jumps on them when it's like 3v1. What the fuck? Why did my ult get cancelled? Okay, firstly, why my ult... How did my ult get cancelled? I'm pretty sure I pressed it after he ulted me. And secondly, how the fuck did I live that? How did I live that is the question. Oh, he's in trouble. Go to the tower, boy. I mean, I can't like run super fast. Mm. RIP! How did she get health back to boss? Oh, she has hundreds of drink. Okay. Pop a mana pot here. Run another turret. So Iggy's got really good wave clear, but I don't know. I, I don't feel like I'm offering my team much just because uh, as a mid lane as Howie, I like to have a lot of impact, rotate a lot. I just don't feel comfortable doing that with Iggy. Maybe that's because I don't play Iggy much. Maybe, I don't know. I've heard a lot of high level people say that the changes to Iggy weren't enough. I'm seeing why. Like he doesn't offer much that I couldn't bring. Like Gideon's got really nice Q, high damage Q. How it's a high damage Q, gadget, high damage abilities. But then you're thinking, Iggy, it's like, uh, where's the burst? Where's the uh, where's the damage coming from? And yeah, it's coming from the turret or maybe the ultimate, but pretty vulnerable in those states, if I'm honest. The the change to his oil stick is pretty nice, but then again, nothing too great. Oh my god, the counter does like no damage.
Oh my god, I might be dead here. Move, minion! That minion fucked my life up. How does our counters do no damage? I guess that would explain why. 14 CP. Maybe I'm being a bit salty in this game, I don't know. I feel like I'm being salty today. But when you witness half the shit I have to witness in a Paragon, then I guess you can understand. They chase too long, the enemy team are coming. Holy shit, don't tell me he juked you guys. Get him, Kane, get him! Got him, boys, got him! Jesus, he died in tower for that. <laughs> Alright, let's get some mana because this Belek will fuck us up. Okay, out, he's out. Let's grab this buff. Why are they pushing so far on right? Maybe we can get mid here. Three of them are there. Let's push this as quickly as possible. Come on. We have a siege minion. Let's get this tower now. Let's make some progress with Iggy. Come on, tower. Come on. Alright, thank you. Jesus, Eggy like does no damage to towers whatsoever. It's crazy. Nice, we got left as well, I like it. Drop a ward on Raptors. We're making progress, boys, with Iggy and Scorch. Making a little bit of progress. Not much, but it's progress. They're gonna get right, so we got all three tier one towers, I hope. Alright, let's back here. We got 8 to spend. No! Why would you do that to me, Turret? Alright, we're on 24, so we're not doing bad. Iggy is a farming machine. We haven't been farming that great, but it's had so so impact. I guess we'll go. We'll sell this. We'll get tainted. We'll sell this and we'll pick up Ash of the Witch, I think. I think that is the play. Alright, so they obviously overextended on right lane, but it's not too bad, I guess. I mean, we got 3 towers, so I can't really complain. So they got all three raptors. Oh shit. Oh. That is close. What is our chimera doing? What the fuck? What in the world? I have no mana though. This is not gonna be good. I have to use this turret wisely. Why are they going in? We have a tower here. What the fuck? What? What am I witnessing right now? Of course, of course, better to ult me. What? Like how? Why would they go in like that? I don't understand. We have a tower right here. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I guess my, my focus should be on Iggy and Scorch rather than stupid decisions from uh, these uh, teammates of mine. I mean, they're pretty far behind that Yin is pretty far ahead, which is disappointing. I just don't feel like you can carry a game on Iggy and Scorch personally. Like, I, maybe I'm not good enough as Iggy and Scorch, but I don't think you can carry a game on Iggy and Scorch. And I feel like I have such little impact. I don't know. I just feel like in Monolith, it's really easy to burst people down, right? It's easy. Let's get, let's get rid of this. Put in another meltdown. It's really easy to burst people down. Actually, maybe I should have gone for blink there. Anyways, it's really easy to burst people down, right? But what? how easy is it to get people to sit in your turret for so long when everything is... Like, Monolith is a lot quicker paced. So why would... Like, I don't know. I just feel like Iggy doesn't really have a place at the moment. Oh fuck, I pulled my tainted by mistake. Yeah, I got it, boys. I got it. Run. I slowed them. I slowed them. 
Run. Slow them again. I guess the slow helps some somewhat, I guess. I hope, maybe. Okay, okay, that works. What? I guess I got Bellica ulted or some shit. What the fuck? How did I die? Oh shit, she like fucking deleted me. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna say that one was my bad, but you know, that Yin is so far ahead. There's really not much we can do. Oh, that inhib didn't even take much damage, to be honest. We could still be in this, boys. We could still be in this. So, so far, haven't been doing well, but I probably would have said, like, I've had games on Iggy where I've been like 3 and 0, 7 and 0, like, in this patch, but, and this is just, I just decided to record this. I don't feel like Iggy has that much of an impact, and. I don't know, I'm, I'm struggling to like help the team out as much as I think I could on another hero. So maybe I'm not that the best Iggy player in the world, but I just think like there's not... Damage changes are nice, but is this enough? Like, how many people... Like, his turrets do 1,125 damage over 10 seconds, but team fights are over really quickly in this game. A, a Murdoch does that damage in like a second. She's gonna die. How much damage are we doing here? Like, not enough. So I'll tell you that. Okay, okay. Well, we got one, but you see my point. Like, I used my ult, and how much damage did we really do? And uh, Yin and uh, I don't know, Countess ult. It's just so much damage. So Iggy's ult is underwhelming. And his ult is over time. You got a counter ult instant. It's like taking 800 damage late game. And I get it that Iggy's ult is AoE. And it affects multiple people. But it's so easy to get out of. Like people just run back. Or they use some form of CC. And it's you know it's easy. Anyways I think I'm going to sell my ult down here. No I think I'm going to sell... My tainted magic and just go for more damage at this point really. Let's do this. Cause I don't know, it just feels underwhelming with the damage. Like he's great at clearing minions. That's what he's really good at. But is he good at killing other heroes? Which seems to be the best way to win games in Paragon. Like you gotta kill them. If you can kill someone quicker than they can kill you, you pretty much win. Does Iggy offer that? Not really. You want heroes that can offer that burst potential, like your how it's a Q or Gideon Q, or like you got your Murdoch or Counters, even a ro or some form of CC. That's what you really want. You don't really want a hero that I need to back up. I think they might rotate on me. You don't want a hero that does damage over time. Like that's why you rarely see a Gideon ult late game, right? And if you do, the Gideon usually dies. It's because damage over time is terrible at the moment. And I get that it's difficult to balance turret heroes. Just because if you give them too much damage, then you play around it, right? You'll get heroes with a load of CC, and then you'll just throw, like, turrets down. So, it's, it's a difficult one. I just don't think Iggy's great at the moment. Jesus, you got blown up. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's a nice rock. Oh, we can't even get there in time. Oh god, he might be dead. Jesus Christ. See, I had my turrets down on Grux and he was taking a lot of damage, but like... He just charged out and charged at me. And then it's like, an, as an Iggy, what do you do? I don't think there's like anything you really can do. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong about Iggy. Maybe you guys have better thoughts, but you can see this game isn't going too well. I wouldn't put the blame on me, right? I'm, I have to hold, like, yeah, it's a team game, but I don't know. I don't feel like I'm doing much as Iggy. Like, maybe am I playing him wrong? Is my play style for Iggy wrong? Do I have to play him different to how I play how it's a Gideon and Gadget? I don't feel comfortable rotating as Iggy because it's so easy to jump out of his mind, like his turrets. I don't feel comfortable Gank, uh, ganking someone because like I feel like I'm just gonna die every time I attempt to make a play because 
one, they can get out of my turrets too, oh, so God. easy. And two, he's got that movement speed, but it's not that great of escape when other heroes have like a Grox, there's a Grox charge, he's going to instantly catch up to you. So, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. I just feel like Iggy's still not good enough or to the point where I'm going to play him a lot. Like, is he back? Uh, if I had to say, if you said, Ace, you got to give me a yes, no answer on is he back? I'm going to have to say no. Like, this is, this Iggy's not good enough in my opinion. There you go. Pop my ult. Bon can walk right out of it. I have Asher the Witch. I'm pretty sure that didn't even slow him. I'm not going to surrender this game. I had Asher the Witch. Didn't really do much to him. So it's like, people tell me this card was made for Iggy. Eh, maybe, but like, Iggy's really bad anyways. So, don't know. If I had if I had Howitz and Gideon in this game, could we have had a big impact? 100%. And that's what it comes down to, in my opinion. I know you're probably like, oh, you're saying Iggy's, like, you're just talking about how negative Iggy is. This is the, this is the video, right? We're here to discuss, is Iggy good? And my overall opinion is no. Like, let's see how he does if we manage to get to the late game, like, how well he performs. But I don't think it's going to be anything great. How much damage do we have? 216 power. Like, you get 216 power on a counter to someone, you're hurting. You're doing a lot of damage. Is it, is it is it enough on Iggy? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. Like, we clear minions so fast. Oh, it's starting to do a bit more damage. No, it's full. I think they might be doing prime. Oh, as soon as I say that. Uh, so we clear waves really fast. There's, there's that, but I like to have a bigger impact than just killing waves. The damage is just so lackluster, especially having damage over time. Maybe I'm building it wrong. Maybe you're meant to build Iggy Tanky though. Maybe maybe that's what you're meant to do. Like how you build him on Legacy. Is that is that how you're meant to build him? Just clear this wave. Fucking hell. Oh my god, so much damage. I didn't even notice I was taking that much damage. Oh, my awareness has gone to shit towards the last 10 minutes of this game though. Well, GG. Not much I can say, I don't really feel like I could do much on Iggy, maybe that's my bad. But, I feel like as a mid laner I want to be able to rotate, I want to be able to, you know, make plays burst people down as Iggy I, I didn't I feel like I didn't really do that is it because my build was bad I don't know I usually test my build quite a bit this is something I just put together to see if Iggy was good uh am I meant to be building a lot tankier what suggestions do you have so that I can play Iggy to the best of my ability or did you find the same thing did you find that Iggy isn't a good hero and that the damage buffs are good but does damage over time really mean much when you can escape things so easily? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. A bit more informative, less laughs, a bit more serious. I was a bit salty in the beginning, but it is what it is. Until next time, guys. Peace.